Amos, book of Amos, chapter 8, verses 8 to 9. Shall not the land tremble for this, and everyone mourn that dwelleth therein? And it shall rise of holy as a flood, and it shall be cast out and ground as by the flood of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day, to repeat. And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Now that sound that he's going to bring something unnatural into the world, something he's doing that's unnatural to make the sun go down at noon that is unnatural and to darken the earth in the clear day that is unnatural and you would have to put someone under a hypnotic spell to experience that. And there are many black females, especially, especially those that are not foundational black Americans from the Caribbean, Africa, or Europe that is under a, a hypnotic spell. They are doing something unnatural. They are out, outside of the laws of mind. If you read Leviticus and then it says Leviticus the 13th chapter the 13th verse, then the priests shall consider and behold, if the leprosy have covered all his flesh, he shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. It is all turned white. He is clean. Okay, he's clean, but he still hath the plague. A white skin is a sign of a plague. And there are some females who are bleaching their skin to appear to have a plague. They have to be under a hypnotic spell and asleep. Why would someone bleach their skin to appear to have a plague? <laughs> and then, not only, <laughs> not only the skin, but also the hair. Thirteenth chapter of Leviticus, the thirtieth verse. Then the priests shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, then the priests shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry scalp. Even a leprosy upon the head or hair. Again, then the priests shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight 
deeper than the skin. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. That's a blonde hair. Then the priests shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry skull, even a leprosy upon the head or hair. Now, that's unnatural. A yellow hair. And yet, there are black women who are dying they hear yellow, coloring. They hear yellow to look like they had the plague. Are they asleep? Black hair is natural, is normal, is natural for a human being. Because, let's see, in verse 31st, of the 13th chapter of Leviticus. And if the priests look on the plague of the skull, and behold, it be not in sight deeper than the skin, and that there is no black hair in it, hmm? that is, if there's no black hair in it, then the priests shall shut up him to have the plague if the scale of the scale seven days. And in the seventh day, the priest shall look on the plague and behold, if the scale spread not and there be in it no yellow hair, and the scale is not in sight deeper than the skin, he shall be shaven. But the skull shall he not shave, and the priest shall shut up him to have the skull seven days. If he to have no black hair, that means it's normal to have black hair. Unless you're older, like I am, and the hair turn gray or white, turn white. But for a, a, a man, younger or woman, black hair is natural, it's the norm. Not yellow, not red, all brown. But yet black women dye in their hair yellow. You don't see many men, males, black males, bleaching their skin or dyeing their hair yellow or bleaching their skin to look like the, a plague. There are some, a few, very few, where you hardly ever see a black male do that. And when they see a white man with the sign of a plague that look like a plague, with white skin and yellow hair, they go Google eyes, thinking the play is lovely. Hmm? So black women love that which is the play, many of them. And they love what they call a thug in a black male, which is Satan among us. That's what it is. Satan is here to rob, kill, and destroy. That's the same as a thug. <laughs> and that's what black women say they love. So they love the plague and they love Satan. And they know something is wrong but what is it and how can it be corrected? Nature will correct it because this is the time of the judgment. And as God made everything seem natural that is unnatural, we are in 
the kingdom of God. That's why we are out of mind, out of lower order and justice. This is, as Jesus said, the kingdom of God is at hand. We are in the kingdom of God. This is his kingdom. The kingdom of God is within white people. He said the kingdom of God is within. That is within white people. But God's kingdom has been destroyed now, brought to naught. You say, oh, how dare he say that? Because you are under a hypnotic spell. You don't know who God is. And you don't, do not understand the Bible. There it has been a veil over your face. That veil has to be lifted. And I pray now that it be lifted. Pray that that veil is lifted, that we be brought back to life. Take the hypnotic spell off of our eyes, especially the black female. And we, the foundational black American, are really the misroim called Egyptians by white people. But we are the misroims. M I Z R A I M who build up the land that was called Egypt. We have built up the new Egypt in America. And it seemed like we may build up the new, another new Egypt in Ghana, West Africa. Maybe that, that is speculation. But a lot of foreign black female come over with their love of Caucasian, love of the plague, love of the plague, and infecting Miss Rain. Because the virus. Uh, coronavirus, for instance, started out infecting just one person, and now it's infecting hundreds of thousands, maybe so millions. Everything started with one. One idea started with one person. And one man, death came into the world, and but by, by one man is there the resurrection. So these ideas, when they opened up the floodgate in 67 or 65 and let foreign black come in, that is to paint the mind of the misruims, to love the plague. That this is the plague, but this they are beautifying the plague. How can you beautify a plague <laughs> by words? By saying it's beautiful, by having power, by having wealth, and black women connecting the wealth with the person, and they consider that beautiful. But our eyes have to be open to the truth. So all of their wealth is being diminished now. So you will know the truth. The veil will be lifted from your eye and you will be brought back to life. 